Hello, I'm Adam Garagosian. I'm with Kadiyatu Fofana and Josephine Twum. We are doing a project on the infectious disease nurse and for our community health class. The role of the infectious disease nurse has expanded due to population increasing, people moving, um, the availability of travel and transport, uh, bioterrorism, weapons, and also hospital acquired infections has brought a big role um, to the importance of the infectious disease nurse. As you see, the responsibilities of the infectious disease nurse um, is a wide variety. They analyze, they notify, they plan and conduct, they educate and establish, they investigate, and they provide information. So they're gonna do all of these towards infectious disease processes, whether it is implementing new equipment, um, figuring out how to manage risks or prevent transmissions, or how to control an outbreak. They're also gonna um, conduct experiments and figure out the best way to manage um, these priorities together and uh, make sure that the plan is instrumental to um, what the infectious, infectious disease is and what the nurse is trying to manage. So those are the responsibilities. So the knowledge and skill, the knowledge of microbes, epidemiology, infectious disease, sterilization, and disinfection, medication, vaccines, antibiotic usage, statistics, regulatory requirements, all of these are essential. Um, they are what we are trying to transform and progress in what our knowledge and skill base are as nurses. That's why having an infectious disease nurse allows us to um, prioritize and establish a, a more precise um, assessment of what we're doing and that way we can get the right criteria going for our infections and, and our plans. Um, the skills are a diff is, is much different than knowledge because this is what we're implementing. Um, we're teaching our, uh, the new nurses, the pro new protocols, our new evidence-based uh, practice and what research is saying so that we can get a ha better handle on our, infectio uh, our infectious diseases. Um, the way that they spread so quickly nowadays due to um, the availability of transport, um, people moving, and, and it, it just really makes it an um, essential role in nursing these days. Uh, I'm now going to introduce Ms. Katia too, and she's going to explain a little more. Thank you. Hi, my name is Katia Atu Fofana, and I'm in uh, this presentation with uh, Adam and Josephine, and I am a going to talk about uh, the education that is required for a infectious disease nurse. Um, as we can see, um, because of the role they have to play in our community, in our hospitals, you need a, a higher level of education in order for you to function uh, in this role. Um, you need a two-year bachelor's degree in nursing, uh, two-year uh, master's degree, and also alongside with that, you're gonna need uh, certifications and uh, um, other form of uh, uh, education that's gonna be able to uh, make you be more uh, knowledgeable in your role. Um, also, this is just, uh, you have to be a registered nurse or a nurse practitioner in order for you to uh, be in this role. Um, most currently work in a, a healthcare facility that include a hospital or a community health center, uh, nursing homes, or uh, even with the school system or uh, clinics. You know, these are all places that you could function as a, um, a infectious disease nurse. And also, uh, you have to be able to collect data and. Uh, um, analyze and make sure that uh, they are able to contain um, an outbreak of any infection or to prevent any outbreak of uh, infection uh, that's going to happen. Um, 
most infectious disease uh, nurses need at least a two year, uh, uh, two years of work ex experience in a hospital setting and required other uh, fire or management position, uh, like a, being a supervisor or any type of management role in order for you to be able to function in this role. Um, certification for an infectious disease nurse is uh, um, offered by their association for professionals uh, in infection control and epidemiology, APIC. And the certification is administered uh, through the Board of Infection Control and Epidemiology. So now I'm gonna have Josephine come talk about her portion of this uh, presentation. I am going to talk about the skills and abilities of an infectious disease nurse. The skill of an infectious disease nurse is to collect, analyze, and interpret information. Basically, the nurse is to gather information and explain to the public. They are also to notify the local state, the local state and federal authorities about the disease. From let's say the disease, they find the disease in Jacksonville. They can notify the local government about how many people have the disease and what people can do to prevent the spread of the disease. They also plan, manage, and evaluate infection control, coordinate, and conduct control risk assessment for construction and renovations. They also educate individuals. So say in a hospital, we have infectious disease nurse, they try to educate other nurses so that when patients come in, they, these nurses educate the nurses as to what to do, like especially with washing of hands. The infectious disease also investigates, manage and conduct surveillance of suspected and confirmed outbreak of infection. Some of the other things they do is good infection control measures, develop habits of regularly reading manual and policies. What I realize is that I don't usually read policies in my workplace, so this is what I've learned to read manuals most of the time. Usually we, I read the manuals after the problem has happened, but I have learned to read these manuals regularly. Proper handling of clinical waste, make sure they are bad in the right bag, and then encouraging visitors. Say a, pa a patient is on uh, contact precaution, encourage them to wear the gown and whatever they are supposed to wear before they get in the room. The, the infectious disease nurse is also to teach about the different chemicals. There are different chemicals and how to handle these chemicals. 